Several government agencies are conducting damage assessments in various sectors impacted by the passage of Hurricane Elsa. Hurricane Elsa battered St. Lucia as a Category 1 hurricane on Friday, 2nd July 2021, leaving in its path damage to the country's infrastructure, agriculture and utilities, the greatest damage being recorded in the agriculture sector. Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney on Sunday provided an update on the damage recorded and recovery plan for St. Lucia. The Ministry of Education, there were several schools in which the roofs were damaged, um, as well as the CDC buildings. Um, eight of the buildings, the roofs were badly damaged, but 13 buildings were impacted altogether. In terms of individual households, we're still doing a full assessment. I believe the teams are still on the ground. Um, determining how many homes were actually impacted. Um, and we've gotten from different constituencies, obviously you would appreciate different numbers so far, but I'm hoping that by tomorrow, Monday, that would receive a more accurate update on the number of households specifically that have been hindered. Um, we have received word from CRIF, which is the uh, catastrophic insurance program that we have, that the uh, numbers that they have received so far that we're not going to be expecting uh, a significant payout um, from there, more than likely just the deductible that we have, which is about 130,000 US dollars. So it means that the Ministry of Finance is already looking for ways to reallocate existing funds to be able to s assist in um, getting the Ministry of Agriculture back on track again, um, and certainly working with the Ministry of Infrastructure in dealing with some immediate needs um, and really the, the, the big one would really be the Ministry of Education and through the Ministry of Equity some of the individual households particularly to the more vulnerable persons in our society. The Prime Minister noting that this is only the beginning of the hurricane season indicated that swift action must be taken to ensure the recovery of the country and preparations for storms to come. He explained that the government of St. Lucia following the passage of Hurricane Elsa immediately began recovery efforts. Instructions have been given to the Ministry of Housing um, to move very swiftly to replace the, the roof at CDC Village. So that's going to start on Monday. Two, that we will find resources um, to help support the farmers. So I, I don't want the farmers to believe in any way that there's any question. I think what the minister was making reference to is to exactly what those interventions are going to be. We have the example of Kurt, of some of the things that we have done. Um, we believe they may need the need of some additional interventions and different types of interventions. We know that the fertilizer is one of them. Mm -hmm. Certainly whether in fact we're going to give some labor support and how that mechanism would work if necessary. Um, <coughs> So from a farmer, uh, from a banana growers and also planting growers, there is going to be an intervention. I think that, um, not think, I know that we will find resources or some mechanism to deal with the greenhouses that have been lost once the full assessment has been established. But I certainly want to let the farmers know in all constituencies that the government will make resources available once the Ministry of Agriculture finalizes the plants but there will be an immediate intervention. Prime Minister Honorable Shasni also assured that the government will be providing immediate relief to individuals affected by the passage of Hurricane Elsa. So I just really want to emphasize to everyone, just in case there was any misconception, the government is not, not hesitating um, to support um, our farmers in this particularly um, difficult period. And despite our own um, financial constraints, this is too important of a sector, and that also applies to the, to the fisher folk as well. Um, again, I can't say to you tonight how much and how. I have to wait for those details from the ministry, but I give them the assurances as we did in the meeting yesterday that the Ministry of Finance will find those resources from somewhere to be able to make an immediate intervention. And lastly, but not least, individual households, the Ministry of Equity, We'll be working with many of the vulnerable persons in our society who have, been, who have lost roofs, um, whose houses have been further compromised to do a very quick assessment and for us to be able to provide some immediate relief to those persons because we recognize we're still in the middle 
of our hurricane season, and we have to move quickly. Members of the public are urged to ensure they are in a state of preparedness as the hurricane season runs from June to November. Individuals are also urged to remain vigilant and stay tuned to trusted sources for reliable information. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norvell.